My second rover is a three-wheeler. The vehicle is about 27cm long, 16cm wide and 51cm high. The rear wheels are fixed and the single front wheel serves as steering and drive. The solid rubber tires have a diameter of 50mm, respectively 30mm at the front wheel. A gear with a total transmission of 1 to 90 is mounted at the electric motor. The energy is stored inside a sealed lead acid battery with a nominal voltage of 12V and a capacity of 5A. The voltage input of the tiny laptop which serves as host computer is just 9V, hence a DC voltage regulator is used to provide those voltage. While operating, 1.5W of electric energy are dissipated by the regulator, which is why a heatsink is mounted at those device. The voltage output of the second regulator is 5V, which is used by the microcontroller and the three servos. The microcontroller type Admega 816PU enables the connection between electronics and the laptop via an USB interface. The board is placed at the front part of the chassis. The camera tower is fixed at the cover plate. After attaching the clamps to the terminals of the battery, there is still no current running through the electronics. The battery power is still cut off by a P-channel MOSFET. Those transistors can be shortcut by a push button, by what the microcontroller is attached to the battery power. In turn, the microcontroller switches the MOSFET to ON, by what all components are permanently attached to the voltage source. Now the laptop can be turned on. During the startup, you still can see the little Android of the original operating system, however, the computer is running Debian Linux now. The rover connects automatically to its server and after that you can control the robot via internet. The control interface is identical to those of my first rover. An important information is the current battery voltage, which is displayed at your browser. The text line is marked in light red as soon as the voltage drops below a certain value, to indicate that you will run out of battery power soon. Below 11.7V, the yellow LED at the board starts flashing and the laptop gets the information that the power will be cut off in 8 minutes. Thereupon the rover turns off the light and stops moving the servos or the drive. The laptop is now shutting down and as soon as the 8 minutes have passed by, the microcontroller turns off the MOSFET by what the power supply is cut off from all devices, including the microcontroller itself. By this procedure, the battery is prevented from getting totally discharged, which would lead to the damage of this device. While the rover is in standby mode, a current of 480mA is running between the terminals of the battery. While driving, the current is increasing for approximately 220mA. Hence, the drive is consuming 2.6W of electric power. By turning on the light, the current consumption increases for about 120mA. The servo used for the height adjustment of the camera is also consuming circa 120mA. Even with all peripheral turned on, the current is just around 1 ampere. The energy stored inside the battery lasts for approximately 6 hours of operating time. Like rover number 1, this vehicle also doesn't cut off the power of the drive motor while stopped by an obstacle. The drive wheel continues spinning, but the current running through the motor is just 320mA. 
The camera attached to the rover is a Logitech C525 with a maximum resolution of 1280 to 720 pixel. Those high resolution is just used for the snapshot functionality. Normally the camera is transmitting single pictures of 320 to 180 pixel. One advantage of this camera is that it can focus even very close by objects automatically. The intensity of the headlight can be varied in 4 steps. The height of the camera can be altered for 40cm by a small wind which is actuated by a servo. Two switches detect the high, respectively low position of the camera. The servos are turned off by the microcontroller as soon as the end position is reached. Another servo is used to rotate the camera vertically, by what you can observe the ceiling and the floor. You can control this rover along with number 1 and my robot arm inside the Robospatium, by what you can experience close encounters of the third kind. So have fun!